Welcome, I'm the Computer Lab teacher. In Microsoft PowerPoint, you can select text in a placeholder in a presentation by using both your mouse and your keyboard. Most people use the mouse to select text. If you left click at the beginning of the text that you want to select and hold your mouse button down, simply drag your mouse to the end of the text. To stop selecting text, click with your mouse anywhere in your placeholder. If you want to select a word, place your cursor over the word and double click really fast on the left side of your mouse. If you want to select an entire paragraph, triple click really fast. You can also use your mouse and your keyboard to select text. Left click with your mouse to place the cursor at the beginning of the text that you want selected. Hold down your shift key on your keyboard and left click with your mouse where you want your selection to end. You can also use your control key to select information. With the first information selected, hold down your control key on your keyboard and select information somewhere else in your placeholder. Simply let go of your mouse and the control key. If you want to select all of your information near a bullet point, move your mouse over that bullet. Your cursor will turn into a four-headed arrow. Left click with your mouse and this will select your information. If you want to select all of your information in a placeholder, make sure that the cursor is in your placeholder. Hold down your control key on your keyboard and press the letter A. Notice it selected all the text within that placeholder. If you want to format or change all your text in a placeholder, left click with your mouse cursor anywhere in the placeholder and you will notice the border of your placeholder will have dotted lines around. When you move your mouse pointer over your border of the placeholder, the mouse will turn into a four-headed arrow. Left click with your four-headed arrow and your border will change to a solid line. Simply go to the Home tab, Font Group, and click on the pull-down arrow next to the font name. Move your mouse over the different names and you will see the font change behind this dialog box. We hope you enjoy this tutorial. We'll see you soon in another one.